Kalinga, a land of rich culture. 100 years ago, this was headhunting country. Not anymore, but it's still an awesome adventure. And I got something. Okay. I think that's a tooth. I don't know where it's come from. It just got stuck in my... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Last night, we slept in Sagada, in neighbouring Mountain Province. Good morning, first timers. Good morning, bro. Oh. Good morning, Sagada. Oh, the clouds in the distance. Are you going to go caving? Huh? <laughs> Me neither. I'm claustrophobic. Do you want to go to the falls? You've seen a lot of falls. <laughs> <laughs> you answered that question for me. You know what I want to find? Mm. Mountain tea. I tried mountain tea yesterday and it is the best thing. It is actually a very, very good tea. Mountain tea, I, I re I'm very intrigued by this. If I end up on top of a mountain there, I'm gonna laugh. But first I tried to cross the road. Let's have a look, I'm on a mission. Only one thing. You know where I can find, I don't know, mountain tea? Mountain tea? Mountain tea, fresh, yeah. Up. Ah, vegetables upstairs. Ah, huh? okay, thank you. Ah, vegetables. Hello there. You have, I know, you have uh, mountain tea. I have. I even red rice, I have rice. Yeah. Ah, this one. That's really fresh, huh? Where's, no. this is, this is wild, or? Yeah, it's from the mountain. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's good. I tried this yesterday. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, that's fresh. Yeah, the, uh, the finer the leaves, it's better. Ah, uh, yeah. Then the wider, we have a lot of variety, which is wider than this one. This is the How much is this one? Six. Yeah, you just uh, put uh, in a cup of uh, water. Mm -hmm. A cup of water. You can just uh, drop five to seven uh, leaves. Yeah. Or something like this. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And then steer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Such friendly people here too. Okay, I have my I have my mountain tea. I don't know how we can carry this around with me, but there we go. Maybe I'll have to pick the leaves off. Last thing you can, you can go caving, you can go trekking, you can go to all these places. They have a very organised guide system, but I just like wandering around to be honest. And we discover things like the tea. They also grow mere lemons here. They grow pears, apparently. I haven't seen them, but uh, apparently they, they, they have a pear growing here too. And have been for 100 years. Good morning. Morning. And it's nice to see these local products from local ingredients. Hey, Asian bear. That's the one. <laughs> oh, black rice tart. Speaking of pears. I'll get some of these for editing. I saw this yesterday. I'm going to be full tourist. Mountain tea, lemon tea. As I said, they plant mere lemons here because they can, because of the climate. Not quite like the calamansi that I've planted. It's okay to be a tourist sometimes, I promise. Today, I'm not boy about. Sagada is really how tourist town should be though. This is how a backpacker town should be. Good food. No hassle. Chilled out. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's really fantastic. Sagar does a great introduction to the Cordilleras. But now, it's time to head deeper into the mountains. And as we look out over the valleys, the morning light is truly the most magical. So this is actually the Halsema Highway again, which is going down the last portion of it into Bonto. All inspiring along this gorge again. And this gorge, I'm really struggling to not make a terrible, gorgeous joke, but I'm gonna, well, I've done it now. Some clues remain of the old days. You know what? I've got to do it right through here. Wow, this is how it used to be, eh? 
Fuck it now, let's get back on the main road. And it's an awesome entry to Bontoc, the provincial capital built on the wider part of the valley floor. What a magnificent entrance that is into Bonta, a narrow valley, now a narrow road, seems very appropriate. Let's go eat and then prepare for our journey into Kalinga. Foods. I think that's a good option. <laughs> the place where you can find food. I love the simplicity of it. We're in Barangay Samoki, which is a fantastic name as well. Do you eat Chris or Scaldo, bro? I eat everything. Oh, you really? You eat everything? <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> Every time I see these gloves, there's one song that comes into my head. <laughs> His intro has the best song ever. Is that a, that's like a real lime. Wow. Chili. The question is, have I overdone the chili? Ah, just right. You ready? Oh wait, Mona. Ah, go, 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 go. <laughs> Very relaxed. So from here, gas stop. I realise that's a gas station, but I don't think it's got any gas in it. It's a parking area. Then up to Kalinga. Majestic, majestic yeah. province that I'm very, very excited to explore. <laughs> that one. Eastern should be northern. Northeastern. A bad choice, no shade. Uh, premium full tank. Leaving Bontoc behind and heading into another majestic valley. Unlike the vegetable terrace shrouded Halsama Highway in Benguet, the road to Kalinga is much more barren. And reminders of the difficulties of the past remain. So some sections they just can't concrete yet because just take a look at it. Just a small section because I mean look at that. I mean, you want to build a road there? That drop? No. Wow. And this road has other surprises too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Come around a corner on a random village on a slightly flatter section and here I can just imagine how this road would have been before I mean it's tight it's going through the villages look at this upstairs of the waiting shed I love the Descarte that's awesome As I admired the road's engineering, this guy was being an influencer. Mountain. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I sponsored influencer. Content warning. Sponsored. 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 How much did they pay you? I sponsored. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Joke lads. Thirst plus. Thirst plus. I'm to the show. You know the the most dark thing you could do right now. I know. My in it and Panahon. <laughs> I know <his> solution. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him do his sponsored stuff in peace. It's very hot in the mountains. You should do radio adverts. You should do radio adverts. Huh? You sound like a radio announcer. Let's do a that hot radio advert. See what that. Dimo alam. I'm a former DJ. Hello. Yes, in Kalibuak land, and my name is Bob Hartman. And you're listening to 90.7 Wild FM. Da, da, da. <laughs> now everything makes sense. Influencer! <laughs> Influencer! Let's see. <laughs> One, two. Where's the third? The bottle? <laughs> Influencer! <laughs> okay, I'm done being Samok. Again. 
and the valley's geography became even more extreme as we neared the boundary of Kalinga. I believe this is Kalinga. For some reason I was expecting an arch. Wang odd. I'm not going there. Motor vlogger. <laughs> Introvert rider. <laughs> <laughs> Introvert rider. I just have social anxiety. <laughs> I was wearing that. It's quite warm down here in the Kalinga Valley. There is some wind, but we're near Buscalan. And Buscalan, of course, is where Apple Wang Odd is. I'm not going there, but we're continuing into Kalinga. She is a very important cultural icon here, though. And that style of tattooing, and in fact, all of these arts and crafts and skills, and I'm not sure what you call it, but something like that, are very unique up here, and we should celebrate them. Then descending into Tinglion, the road had more rough sections and it was much hotter. Sometimes it's good to remember the roads would have all been like that before. Then we started to climb out of the valley. It's hot! Well, it was hot down the bottom. Right in that valley is really warm. I took my jacket off. It was, as I said, the Cordilleras is not one homogenous group of places. It's, there's some big, big differences. So we came from Benguet, full of vegetable terraces. Then we came through Mountain Province, a lot of pine trees. If we went to Ifugao, that's where the rice terraces are. Up here in Kalinga, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure, but I just saw this discarte here. Someone's building a house at the bottom and they're using this pulley system, I assume, to get materials in and out. I'm really not sure what to make of Kalinga yet, which is why let's go to the old capital, Luwagan, and maybe we can figure something out there. There we are. Wow. Sitting high above the Chico River, Luwagan seems to appear from nowhere. Historic grandeur was clear to see, but we still weren't sure about this place, so we stopped here for food. Oh, I call you Shopee! <laughs> Literally, an old lady just came up and asked if we were Shopee or oh, if I was Shopee. What? Just, just like this, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, first accident! First accident! Disgrace! Yeah. Oh, disgrace! Oh, deep me, pay me, you Something. pay me, yeah, you pay me, pay me. yeah. Perfect for a thumbnail for a motor vlogger. My second motor accident. <laughs> okay, well, which way do we go in? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. Commander, I'm a tourist guide. Okay, I'll This is here. what you call Pinto. Crazy knock. That's upstairs? Oh yeah, I think it is. Oh, and there's Pancit there. There's something really intriguing about this place. And this special Pancit overload was certainly overloaded. The most special Pancit you've ever had in your life. It's very, very good. Oops, I just put some on the table. Five second rule. <laughs> yeah, from, no, from Sagada. Wow. Yeah, Sagada. Yeah, yeah. So beautiful, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I rode all the way from Dabao. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all the way from Dabao to Kalinga. Yeah. 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 Like to Mountain Travis, then Kalinga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a nice place, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we checked into our hotel and saw something that was definitely happening. There we are. <laughs> yeah, that's happening. Let's do this. Let's do this. Actually, we came in earlier and we spent the afternoon just sorting some stuff out because I'm going to stay a little bit longer. I don't know about this guy. This guy's dancing. 
very, very dark. I think you should do that in the in the square. Wouldn't it? Matanda is your free. Mata is no refund. No refund. <laughs> we're going on the Viking ship, I think. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> I, think, Hello. I think we're the same weight as all of these. Oh, okay, we're going. Oh. Well, go oh. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. Eh? <laughs> okay, oh! 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 I find someone who's a. <laughs> I find someone who's worse than riding Perry in the coolest. Oh Amazing. Amazing. That was not. 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 <laughs> Hello. 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 Hey, hey. Hi, go away. You're leaving me behind. We had a big hour, and yeah, now I told him to go, but not really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> YouTube drama. YouTube drama. We have two separate ways because for the views. For the vlogger. For the vlogger. Content creator. Filmmaker, influencer. I don't want to go back in Manila now, but I have my obligations there as a motor vlogger, influencer. Yeah. I have uh, an event with my, you know, one of my brands, so that's why I have mm, to sponsor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm a motor vlogger. I can't deny it. <laughs> anyway, safe trip. Oh, bro. Enjoy the mountain province. <laughs> this music's beautiful. I really like it. I think they're using the traditional gongs. The festival's next week. Oh, Oops, sorry. Still got it. Except I keep kicking things and I came very British. I love how there's like MoMA all over the road. <laughs> MoMA, the classic red spit, and I got something. Okay. How on earth did that tooth get. What? That was a tooth. It's definitely a tooth. I, I hope that didn't come out with someone spat MoMA out. Kalinga and Lubuagan didn't get colonized by the Spanish at all. But for 73 days in 1900, this is where Aguinaldo came and this was his seat of government. Of course, then he had to escape to Isabella, where he was eventually caught by the Americans, but this is the kind of place it is. People are very resistant to foreign occupation, very resistant to foreign rule, and very, very strong. There was, of course, a headhunting culture back then. Not anymore, but back then it kept the Spanish away. They never came in. The Americans managed to, and this actually was the center of culture, commerce, trade, education, for many, many years. And that's why it still has this rich feeling of history and culture today. But first I wanted to buy some alcohol to wash my hands of tooth residue. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine. Yeah. From where are you? From UK. British, yeah. But I live in, I uh, know, I live in Davao. In Davao? Yeah. You have a wife here? Yeah, How yeah. How many children do you have? One daughter. One daughter? Yeah, Boy yeah. or girl, sir? A girl, girl. A girl. Yeah. You want to drink coffee, native coffee? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. like yeah I like it, not, I like it. Not too much sweet. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, much better, much better, yeah. Better. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. 
I only came here to buy our alcohol. I want to, I just, I realized I touched a, I think a human too. So, <laughs> I want to wash that off. Oh, thank How you. How old are you? One year and oh, one year plus, very just, young. Just you married to the Filipino. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Because Mom. I have uh, too much cousins, they are in UK, they married there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know where from. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, because I mean, I'm from yeah. Wales, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drink first oh, thank you. You have, I know, alcohol. This is what I was told would happen. Good morning. Good morning. Where's Mum Bernadine? Oh, she's inside. She's inside? Yeah, yeah. She's just here. Order. Hey, delivery. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Fish ball. Oh, there's a uh, rice ball in the. Uh, the fish ball. Yes. Okay, oh. so this is mango. Oh, I, I thought so, mango, yeah. Yeah, this small mango, like me, small. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh wow. Oh, this is oh. Thank you, you want to drink coffee? No, no. Uh, no? Come, come, drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> you, Your English you. is good, huh? huh? Your English is very good. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes. Because they are busy here because the fiesta is on March 20. Yes, I thought so. Yeah, that's why they are busy to practice. Yes, yes. I, I like it, I like it. Sometimes you just hear music. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed every house has one of these. Not hot water, coffee. But you like music, sir? What's your name? Yeah, my name's Anselm. Anselm? Anselm, yes. Yeah, Anselm. What's your name? Nadine. Nadine? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, sir. I'll go ahead, huh? Thank you yeah, so much. Okay, thank you so much for the coffee, you. yeah? Nice to meet you. Okay, bye, bye bye. Bye bye. What a nice surprise. Only went there to get alcohol. And she gave me her big bottle to, to do it. I just wanted to come here just to just to explain something. Is this a I think it's a Catholic church though. <laughs> this church is a Catholic church, so this doesn't quite work with my explanation. But I was gonna say, what you'll notice when you come up to the Cordilleras, of course it was never colonized by the Spanish. It was only during the American era that they had the foreign influence. And so the missionaries were Americans. So they didn't bring Catholicism with them. They brought, mostly, its Episcopal churches, so Anglican, or Presbyterian, or Baptist. I even saw some Wesleyan. And John Wesley, I mean, he, he was the guy who led the revival in South Wales, where I'm from. And so, it's that difference because religion was also it came with the colonizer very very interesting and this is beautiful wow so peaceful here actually just the sound of birds wow it's amazing it's really this is amazing that's what it is for me in these places of worship whether you subscribe to it or not the peace you feel is something else and out here now I can hear the music. I love this music, huh? But it's back to the hotel for now. Local Kalinga rice from the terraces. I noticed they have, that this food's cooked in, is it coconut milk? I don't know. Hmm. Up here, it's all done without too much in the way of fertilizer artificial stuff all of that and this has been a great introduction to such a friendly friendly place with so much history so much culture and i'm very excited to explore more in the next vlog see ya